This family portrait wouldn't be complete without the paintbrush. That's right, the paintbrush. Sometimes we just need a little help. And when the bees aren't out, somebody has to do the pollinating around here. It's hard to imagine that in a few short months, these tiny little pumpkins are gonna grow into giant pumpkins. But nothing would have happened if we hadn't hand pollinated these pumpkin flowers ourselves. And today, we're going to learn how. We've had a really bad season for pumpkins this year because at the time that the flowers need to be pollinated, it was raining really hard and the bees didn't, well, they didn't come and pollinate because they couldn't get into the flowers because the flowers were all shriveled up. So we're gonna to try to hand pollinate here and see if we can't get a few pumpkins. It's really late in the season, but I think it's not too late. So this is a female uh, flower and you can tell because when you look inside, there's all sorts of little bumps, if you will. And you can also tell because underneath the flower, there's this bump, which would be the pumpkin if the flower is pollinated. Now, if the flower is not pollinated, it will just fall off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find a male flower. We're gonna see if we can get some pollen off that flower and bring it in and add it to this flower and see if we can't make a pumpkin. So, so this is a male pumpkin flower and you can tell because there is no bulb at the bottom. And about an hour ago, this flower was quite open but now you can see that it's closed and bees can't get in there anymore to pick up the pollen to take to the female flower. So the male flower looks like this and they're not. So we're going to go ahead and pretend we're a bee and we're going to stick this paintbrush right inside and see if we can pick up some pollen. So now we're going to take this over to the female flower. I feel like I'm carrying the the gold here or something. Okay, you can't eat it. And we're gonna put it inside the female flower like this, and we're just gonna touch it all over, see if we can't get that pollen to fall off. We're pretending we're a bee. And then we're gonna come back in a couple of days and see if it worked. So if it worked, then this little ball here is gonna start growing. If it didn't work, the ball's just gonna fall off. So there's only a one or two day window where that female flower needs to receive that pollen so that the fertilization process can take place and that that little ball can develop into a pumpkin. This is the day after we hand pollinated this flower and you can see the flower's now closed. So no more chance for hand pollinating or for a bee to come inside. And now we just wait to see if it worked. We'll check back in the next couple days. It's now been three days since we helped pollinate this female pumpkin flower. And I don't know, it, it does appear to be bigger. So I think it might've worked and I think this might be growing. But it, well, it worked, it worked. A couple of days after we hand pollinated, this pumpkin is definitely growing and it's growing so fast that I've just moved this chair um, underneath the pumpkin or trying to place it under there. That's so exciting that our experiment worked. So taking a paintbrush and taking the pollen from one male flower to the female flower, or it worked. And this pumpkin is now going to grow. And it's it's been a few days since we've checked in on this guy here, and it's actually been 14 days since we've hand pollinated it. Ta-da! 14 days. That little tiny pumpkin has grown this big in 14 days. Now this one may not reach full maturity, but it's we're going to let it grow as much as it can until the frost hits. But 14 days. Uh, it's pretty incredible how fast these pumpkins grow. So. This was supposed to be the end of the video. After all, we did learn how to hand pollinate the pumpkin and we watched it grow. But I had to show you how beautiful this pumpkin ended up and what I did with it. Scraping, pumpkin scraping. And that's what we're gonna learn how to do in the next video.